Hi, fifth grade. We're back with our second lesson for week number 26, um, module eight, lesson four. You're going to be representing multiplication of fractions, which is going to be very similar to the lesson we just did. Um, so I just want you to be thinking of that, how we took, if it was one half of one fourth, you just multiplied the two fractions, right? And then that's how you got your answer. Um, we started out by using pictures and then we were able to see that we just had to multiply those two fractions and it's going to be the same thing here. But when you multiply those two fractions, then you might have to um, by simplify them so that way they're not this huge numbers on top and bottom. You need to find a way to find a find um, common den or find a, a more simplified version. So you're going to be able to multiply fractions using a visual model. So we have Alejandro and Prisha are practicing their soccer skills. Alejandro kicks his soccer ball four fifths of the length of the field. Prisha kicks her ball three fourths of the distance. Alejandro kicks his ball. How far down the soccer field does Prisha kick her ball? So if Alejandro, so we have the whole soccer field and Alejandro kicks his soccer ball four fifths the length of the field. So we would break our um, model into fifths. One, two, three. Ooh, they're not exactly the same, but. And then he kicks his ball four fifths. So I'm gonna shade in four of these pieces, right? Because that's how far he kicks his ball. So he kicks his ball four fifths of the soccer field. Now, Prisha kicks her ball three fourths of the distance of Alejandro. Now, if we look at Alejandro's, he has four pieces and they're each a fifth length, right? She kicks her ball three fourths of his. So she's gonna kick her ball three fourths of Alejandro's. So you can see that she kicked her ball less right than he did. So this is Alejandro and this is Prisha. So if I were to use what we did um, last time, four fifths times three fourths, that's going to equal four times three is 12, five times four is 20. Now this, we're going to try to make simplify this. We want to make sure that this fraction is in its simplest form. So a number that they both, the 12 and the two, 20 have in common are a four. So if I divide the top and the bottom by four fourths, and we know that four fourths is the same as one whole, 12 divided by 4 equals 3, 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So she kicked her ball 3 fifths of the soccer field. Notice how many of these would that be? 1, 2, 3 fifths of the soccer field. So we can see that in the picture, she kicked her ball 3 fifths, and then by doing the math, we can see that she kicked her ball 3 fifths of the whole soccer field. So the biggest thing with with doing this type of a problem is what is the simplest form. You need to find what you can m divide your fraction by the biggest number that's the same so that way you can get it down to its simplest form. That's going to be the biggest trick is right here. Figuring out, okay, what do they both have in common that I can divide them both by? So that way I can get this to its simplest form. And it has to be the same number on top and bottom. And we can see that in this picture, right? Three fourths of four fifths is three fifths. Okay, so let's look at our next one. Prisha has been practicing her kicking skills so that she can beat Alejandro. During another practice, she kicks her soccer ball five six of the length of the field, and Alejandro kicks his soccer ball four fifths of the distance. Priya, Prisha pick, kicks her ball. So he's kicking his ball less than her. She kicked her ball five six. So if I were to break up my um, number line, 
into sixths. The best way to do it is to do it in halves and each half into thirds. So we have one third, two thirds, three, oh, sorry, one six, oh goodness, one six, two six, three six, four six, and five six, right? And then one hole will be six six. She kicks her soccer ball five six. So this is Prisha. And then Alejandro kicks his four fifths of what she did. So we can see one, two, three, four. This would be in fifths for her. And he kicks his one, two, three, four fifths. So this is Alejandro. Prisha is five six. Alejandro is four fifths. So one on the number line represents the whole soccer field. Prisha's different distance is in sixths, so that's five six. Alejandro is four fifths. But if our equation is four fifths times five six, four times five equals 20, five times six equals 30. So we can, four fifths times five six. What could we divide the top and the bottom by? to get our as simplified as possible. Well, if I divide the top by 10 and the bottom by 10, I would get 2 thirds. So Alejandro kicks his ball 2 thirds of the soccer field. Oops, sorry. Oh, goodness. I thought you, we were down there far enough. So 4 fifths times 5 sixths equals 20 thirtieths. Multiple, divide the top and the bottom by 10, which is the same as one whole, so that's why we can do that. And you get two thirds of the soccer field. Okay? Now after the soccer, they're hungry. So Prisha eats six eighths of her granola bar. Alejandro eats two thirds as much as Prisha eats. So we have our granola bar. She eats six eighths, so I'm going to divide it into half and then each part into fourths. So that gives me my eighths. And she eats six eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's what Prisha eats. And then Alejandro eats two thirds as much as her. So he, he eats one, two, three. So this would be Alejandro. He eats two thirds as much. So our equation, we're gonna go right out of here. Our equation would be six eighths times two thirds. Six times two is 12. Eight times three is 24. So we can divide our top and bottom for this one by 12. So that would be one half. Oh, goodness. No, this is Alejandro. Sorry, two thirds. Two thirds. <laughs> so this would be Alejandro would be this whole thing. Sorry about that. My bad. But the equation is right. Just my picture was messed up. Sorry about that. All right, Jake's family eats three eighths of a pan of banana bread. Emily's family eats two thirds of the amount that Jake's family eats. How much of a whole pan of banana bread does Emily's family eat? Write an equation to model the problem. So Jake's family eats three eighths times Emily's family that eats two thirds. 3 times 2 is 6, 8 times 3 is 24, they have a 6 in common, 6 over 6, 
6 divided by 6 is 1, 24 divided by 6 is 4. So Emily's family eats one-fourth of a pan of banana bread. So again, remember the biggest thing is figuring out what are we going to divide by. Multiplying is easy if you know your multiplication facts, right? 3 times 2 is 6, 8 times 3 is 24, and then just figuring out what you could divide by. Alrighty, we are not going to write a story problem. So number two, we're not going to do the, we're just going to do our multiplication. Number two, a recipe for honey glazed chicken calls for three-fourths cup of honey. Marcel wants to make two-thirds of a batch of the recipe. Use the number line. We're not going to use the number line, but we will write an equation. So three-fourths times two-thirds. Anytime you see that, um... They want to use that much of what's already been used, right? That much of, that usually means to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. We can divide the top and the bottom by 6, right? They have a 6 in common, so that would give us 1 half. So he needs 1 half cup of honey. Alrighty, we're not going to draw our visual model, we're just going to solve. 5 times 6 is 30, 6 times 7 is 42. What do 30 and 42 have in common? What could we divide the top and the bottom by? I'm thinking we could divide the top and the bottom by 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 42 divided by 6 is 7. 5 7 Okay. Nine time, or 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 10 is 30. We could divide the top and the bottom by... We could do 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 30 divided by 6 is... Five, three fifths. Okay. So again, you're just multiplying the top and the bottom, and then you're finding a way to simplify your fraction. If you want to draw the visual models, you can, but you do not have to. You can just do the multiplication and then finding the simplified version. Okay. Um, and you can go ahead and do the the homework for eight point four. And I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.